What's going on guys? Matt Full Tilt Bullies. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Come here, Foxy. Come on, girl. Yeah. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, just want to get a few updates in here for y'all. Um, again, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving, a good end of the year coming. Christmas. I know everybody's looking forward to that. Miss Foxy. And I love this girl. She is just a tank of a dog. Everybody says it too. Um, you know, seeing them on video and seeing them in person is just like night and day. Two totally different uh, experiences. They're just much wider. Uh, you know, their muscle. Just, I mean, just everything is just so much different. Um, you know, in person and on video, which is why I try to I always suggest anybody that's buying from me uh, to come and you know see them in person that just that way you know exactly what you're getting but uh everybody's doing great looking great uh special announcement uh i'm not going to do any deposits just yet um but miss rue took uh, i've got a good video of her and kilo playing around uh that i'm going to put up i just didn't want to put it up until i know if she took or not um but this girl right here i don't know if you can see Little stomachs poking out. Little boobs are starting to kind of drop a little bit. She's getting some dry spots on her. I'm gonna try uh, some utter balm or something, try to rub on her spots. But again, everybody is doing great, looking great. Uh, we just ran them just a little bit. Uh, it's been raining since yesterday, rained pretty good. Uh, last night had a real good storm. Uh, it's just so wet and nasty out here, hadn't really didn't want to have them out too much, but Miss Blue, she's looking awesome. Filling out real good. We had to separate her and uh, Kobe. He was eating up all the food. He was just getting fat as a tick. And uh, I don't think, she was still getting, you know, plenty of food, but just, you know, I like for her to be able to eat in peace, not have to fight for it and worry about it. So we moved him up here to the empty kennel that we got. Uh, let me get y'all a shot of Hilda before I, travel on up through there she is looking great doing great love this girl man she is just filling out so nicely super thick little body she is just awesome and i'm gonna try to start getting like uh how i did with foxy here some more like just one-on-one -on -one videos out here with them moving running around uh the yard's so big again i'll say it it's it's just really hard to get them on video you see foxy She's here and there, and she's just everywhere. Uh, so, you know, for me personally, I just find it find it kind of difficult to do. But hey, girl, like I said, they're not too lazy uh, when they're out moving. You know, they're just everywhere. Get her locked in, hey, big boy. About time to pressure wash again. Hey, Bo. I hadn't confirmed her yet. Um, I'm sure she took, she looks like she's in the early stages, uh, really, really excited about that litter. Um, I try to do breedings now that I get excited for every time, you know, uh, and not to say that I'm not excited to have puppies in general, uh, but I just want to do breedings that are, you know, obviously healthy breedings, but just unique, you know what I mean? Just, you know, really good breedings. Um, and I think so far we're doing pretty good on hitting, you know, hitting the mark. I have, uh, another announcement coming up about Miss Athena. She took, uh, she's doing really good. She's got six pups in there. Now you always know that, you know, there's a high chance of losing one or two or something. So, um, hopefully within the next week, we'll have a couple uh, videos of her and her new pups. So wish us luck on that. Um, but I am just like that one right there. I am super excited about that litter. See what we get. Opal filling out awesomely. Catching her weight back. She dropped down pretty good. But again, she's coming back nicely. I just love that dog. She has just got an awesome little look to her. Nice little neck, shoulders. Uh, she's something else. They're all eating. I was trying to hold out till they got done. But... And now this boy right here, he is just surprising me. 
he is just super thick. Look at that little chest. Cubby. Hey, boy. Like I said, we had to move him up here by himself because he was eating up everything. If you'd have seen him yesterday, he was just, I mean, fat, fat. But he's doing great. I'm super excited about what he's going to turn into. Uh, you know, when I first made the pick on him, I just, you know, I picked him because he just kind of looked unique. It wasn't nothing really. He wasn't like the biggest one. Uh, he wasn't, there wasn't nothing like super special about him. You know, he had his nice short little muzzle. Uh, but other than that and just how he kind of looked was the only reason I went with him. Uh, everybody else kind of got their picks. Uh, the, I let, see, one and two, maybe even three three or four people picked their pups and he was still left over and I got him if I'm not mistaken. Um, but he is just awesome, awesome dog. He is turning out great, super thick. Uh, he's gonna be something else, upcoming stud for sure. Um, but super, super happy with him. And you see what's in the, behind the pedigree. He's off of Nessa. Nessa made this monster right here. I tell you what, Foxy too for a female, uh, most people are just blown away when they see her in person. She is just a tank of a dog. I mean, she is massive. Her father, Red, was, you know, a monster. Uh, Fadar, rest in peace, Fadar. He was a tank. Awesome producer. Produced multiple, multiple champions. Multiple champions, grand champions. Uh, at one time, if I'm not mistaken, he held the record for the most you know champions and grand champions produced if i'm not mistaken uh i'm not sure if he still you know holds that title or not but um you know just a a monster miss bow looking great look at that dude it's just ton of bone big old feet chest he is um, I just cannot wait to see what he turns into another year or two. He is just going to be a tank. Miss Opal. And again, shout out to Doug, TWT Bulls. Uh, he, he blessed me with this girl right here. We made a little uh, trade deal, and uh, I could not be more happier with that with that deal. All her pups are looking great. I'm going to have a, some, uh, a picture, one or two pups, posting up off of uh, her last litter to Nero. Um, in the community section here before too long so be on the lookout for that took some good pictures of all the dogs also I think I'm going to post up it's through the fence but still really good pictures again Miss Blue looking great absolutely awesome but uh, we're going to end it here I'm going to get y'all um, update on Rambo across the street a little try boy uh and I'm going to put another video up of Kilo and Rude just so y'all can kind of get a good look at him. And that's been a couple months ago, uh, or probably about a month, month and a half uh, ago That on that video. Uh, I'm going to get some more good pictures of him, a video, solo video with just him so y'all can see. And remember, Kilo is uh, Hilda's brother off of uh, Bo and Zeus. So... Uh, again, those pups are just going to be awesome. I, I cannot wait. It's doubled up on the bow and Nero um, line breeding. And, um, you know, Nero and Bo are brother and sister. So, uh, Bo and uh, obviously Zeus. Let me see. Kilo is off of Zeus and Bo. And then she is off of Lady and Nero. So, uh, a lot of tight breeding going on there, so those pups are should be just uh, you know exceptional pups. So, but we're gonna get out of here for now. Uh, I appreciate everybody for watching, uh, all the positivity and all the support. Uh, stay tuned.